Hi guys, okay, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I, I felt like maybe I wanted you guys to get unready with me or just to show you guys my skincare routine or at least a, a lazy girl's skincare routine. What I do normally when I get back from a full day out, wanting to take out my makeup and then, you know, get ready to go to bed. So, I am already technically in my pajamas. Uh, I'm trying to get comfortable and I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of the products that I use uh, to take out my makeup and of course uh, what I do after that. Lah. If you do like the video, just don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below the products that you use. Uh, but these are just some of the products that I've been using for years. And of course, with like the beauty industry right being so rampant having like new products all the time everyone trying this product that product i i wouldn't say i'm not ambitious in that sense of trying new products but to me my take is i already use the product and i know it works why should i be changing it because i'm already spending that x amount of money i continue spending that x amount of money why should i spend more or, or whatever less but still works then fine but you know, I cannot be having like 10, 20, 50 different products that does the same thing. And also at, because at this point in time, even like the eyeshadow palettes that I have, right, I don't even use. So I am the most, at least to me, I feel like I'm quite practical when it comes to the products that I buy. Except for L'Occitane. Hmm. But every other product, <laughs> even if it's makeup or makeup remover, I have the try and tested brands that I know and love and I will always gravitate back to those brands. So yeah, anyway, if you want to find out the brands that I'm using, keep on watching. But again, of course, I will put all of the brands that I use down in the description below. Okay, so first things first is to take out my makeup. And I am currently using the Clinique Makeup Removing Balm. This product I've been using for years and years and years already. And I think I first got to know about this uh, product from Many MUA. He was doing an, like, uh, he was doing a uh, get unready with me, and he used this product. And when I saw like the way it melted the makeup, right, and then after that, I even saw Patrick Star using it. If I'm not mistaken, when he was doing a video for Clinique, so I, I actually bought it from Sephora at full freaking price. So. As you can see, it's really used. Um, it's almost finished, but I do have another one in the in the toilet. I kind of hot this product because I, I know it really works and I never stinge when I get all wait up to, you know, use to take out my makeup. And because today I do have Clinique's mascara on, so I just uh, slap it on, don't care, and move it all over my face. And what I like so much about this product is that it lessens the time for me to like use the cotton to dig through my eyes and, and get rid of those makeup because at the end of the day, I'll still wash my face and I will still try to get as much of those product out anyway and I'm trying to save the environment by not using too much cotton. <laughs> so normally I'll just like, no! No! Fell to the floor, damn it. Massage it in my face. Uh, I'll try to skip like my lipstick for as much as I can just to like take out all of the other products first. Like my eyebrows. Yeah, you can see me without eyebrows after this. And then I'll just like go into my eyes. And then just go through into my inner corners. And then just up and down to try to take out as much of the mascara as I can and um, normally the first step I do is to take out my contact lens but you know for the purpose of being able to see myself in video I'm just leaving it on and just trying to like take out everything and then in the end I'll just go through like that. And yeah, so um of course the makeup and my eye is already all gone. I'm just coming closer but 
there are still some residue left when it comes to my mascara but I'll still wash it off later with my cleanser okay so once I'm done with that uh, I would normally just use like a normal makeup wipe um, I just bought this from Watson it's by Festa one actually the reason I bought this the last time was to put it in my gym bag so that I could take up my makeup before I actually work out but lo and behold, guys, we're in MCO, we can't leave the house. So, might as well just use what we have, can. And then I'll just wipe it off. Um, this is not a particular brand that I normally go for because I don't normally use makeup wipes. And my eyes probably quite blur because of that makeup remover you know just like try to get the products out with my fingers because yeah it gets onto my contact lens and I'm just like blah, 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 blah. so once I'm done with that I will um, of course use cleanser to wash my face lah. so right now I'm using the lots of cleansing milk um, it actually also supposedly takes out your makeup. So I use this to make sure that every makeup on my face um, gets out. So I'll just like uh, get two get two palms, put it in my hand, and then just go all over my face. Normally I will just go through my eyes. Um, just trying to massage the product in and hope that it actually grips out all of the makeup okay I'm gonna wash my face so I'll be right back okay I'm back so once I'm done with that again it's a lazy girl skincare routine and it's night time so I will normally use uh, <laughs> my L'Occitane's um, Reset Serum Shake 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 <laughs> I don't have 10 steps guys After this I'll just put moisturizer and then you know that's to see <laughs> So normally it's 2 pumps Massage it on my face And then just Get the product in I actually love the smell of this um, I don't know why um, I'm kind of a sucker for like the scent of products so um, once I'm done with that um, since it's night time I actually use um, the La Mer Creme de La Mer moisturizing cream and I actually did not buy this product because all of us know how freaking bloody expensive this is lah, okay? Uh, I actually got it from Carol. Oh, I love her. Uh, she's my ex-colleague turned really, really good friend. She gave me this product and I've been using it uh, every night since. And you don't really need a lot. So I just get like a small little dollop. Quite stingy with this because I don't want to finish it because I just know I'm going to be able to afford this once it's done lah. So uh, just tap the tap. And then just try to tap it uh, every part of my face very kiam siap li because <laughs> need to be stingy with this product so I would normally put it on the areas that are the most dry so it's actually my T my T zone that is the driest and then I would supplement uh, some other areas because my face is very big right so I'll supplement the other areas with my other cream that I will show you in a bit so um, normally it just it's only enough to go into the middle of my face lah okay let's be real here when you have you got a big face it's kind of impossible to like get everything in and yeah so once I'm done with that then I will use the ginseng moisturizer so I use this in the morning actually, so this is my day cream, but at night, I will just take a little bit, oh, it's almost finished, so this one, 
So we'll just take a bit and then put it at the back of my ears because the back here is very dry and it's normally quite peely and I don't know or at least maybe I know I know maybe because I'm not drinking enough water or something like so it's always very dry so I'll put it here and then I will take a bit more so I'll take a bit more and put it on top of my forehead because this is also the part that is always very dry lately as of late also it's like gotten like drier than normal okay so on most days on most days that's me and my lazy ass skincare done but as you can already tell by a very big red spot here i have a very big pimple here that has been you know festering and growing for the last few weeks so because of this i have been using um, my origins spot remover um, every morning and night just to put on that particular area so I'll take a bit and then dab 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 oh. yeah it kind of no it really stings especially when like your your pimple is like the closest to like gonna pop so it kind of stings and you know me being the fidgety person that I am I will like sometimes press it and then it will just you know that's it lah become damn pain and I do have a few spots here all that and lately I've been getting like breakouts here so I think I'm close to my period so I'll just dab 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 and then on top here dab yeah and then done So yeah, that is my nighttime routine when it comes to like taking off my makeup and my skincare. Um, I really do love the products that I use. It's uh, products that I've been using for quite some time and it, it really works. And I don't think it's something I want to change soon or unless I do find another product that I, I will thoroughly enjoy. I know next on my list is this... Um, Lost the 10 moisturizer. Um, I'm just waiting to finish my, my ginseng moisturizer before I actually start that one. So I'm actually pretty excited for that. But in the meantime, this is it. This is me bare face and ready to hit the second sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, do leave a like if you did. Comment down below some of the products that you use. Maybe I can try them and maybe it works to like get rid of this dumbass freaking pimple. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my other social media platforms at NGBear and I'll see you guys soon on the next video. Bye-bye!